Addressing Assembly Members, Minister of Health Dr. Bun Feng Pumalai Sid said it was necessary to make clarifications to the existing law by setting up in place additional measures that would enable prompt action to be taken to prevent the spread of disease. The National Assembly is debating amendments to law on the prevention and control of communicable diseases aiming to prevent the spread of dangerous diseases through the introduction of more stringent and comprehensive measures. Under the law, a person suffering from a highly contagious disease may be hospitalized without his or her consent if the person is deemed dangerous to others and has refused treatment or violated the treatment regime. The existing law contains seven chapters and 83 articles. It is proposed that 36 articles be amended, six new articles are added, and 11 are cut. The main changes would be made to Article 2 and relate to stronger measures to prevent the spread of infectious diseases in a timely manner. It is envisaged that the amended law will help to curb disease outbreaks, reduce incidence of illness and death, and make the prevention and control of communicable diseases more systematic, flexible, efficient, and effective. The new measures would apply to health departments and facilities at the central to local levels throughout the country. The changes are necessary to ensure that the general public plays a greater role in and takes more responsibility for communicable disease control, to inspire confidence among the general population, and to build the capacity of health officials to respond to outbreaks of communicable disease. The Health Ministry proposes to make the changes in line with the 2005 International Health Law on Control of Communicable Diseases.